Alibaba Squen has just released an embedding model of quite a good quality with a very small size and in this video we are going to install it locally and we will test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. The Quen 3's embedding model series represents Alibaba's latest advancement in text embedding technology built upon the dense foundational architecture of Quen 3 family and we already have covered Quen 3 family in great detail in multi dozen videos already. This model is available in three sizes 0.6 billion, 4 billion and 8 billion parameters. These models are specifically engineered for text embedding and ranking tasks inheriting the exceptional multilingual capabilities, long context understanding up to 32,000 and reasoning skills of their foundational counterparts. The architecture of this model supports flexible embedding dimensions ranging from 32 to 1024 that allows developers to optimize for their specific computational and accuracy requirement. The 8 billion variant has even achieved state-of-the-art performance and it is number one model on MTAB multilingual leaderboard with a score of 70.58. It is multilingual and it has capabilities over 100 languages including various programming languages. And of course, if you are into information retrieval and text analysis application, this model could be a good choice. So let's get started and we will install one of the variants locally. For that, I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy master compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description plus I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. The tool which I'm going to use in order to install this model is Llama.cpp which is a very very lightweight inference engine. I'm also going to install it from scratch. We already have done it many times but let's do it again very quickly. In order to get it installed all you need to do is to go to Llama.cpp's github page then from there go to releases page and for the release all you need to do is to just go or scroll up from there simply click on this release or releases this is the latest one make sure you get the latest one even if you already have it installed from there just download it as per your operating system it comes for windows mac and other linux variants as i have ubuntu on this x6486 so i'm just going to download this one either you can simply save the link or you can use wget so i believe i don't have any directory so what i'm going to do i'm just going to save it on my home directory it's very lightweight shouldn't take too long and then i will go here and here i'm just going to create a new directory lcp let's see if it is downloaded i think it should be yep it is so i'm just going to move that file into my lcp directory and then let's cd there unzipped unzip whatever is there and if you ls here there should be a build directory and there should be a bin directory and here you will see a lot of llama.cpp related files including llama cpp server through which i am going to serve this model on my local machine and then we will be able to do the inference now for that of course you would need to download the model first and in order to download the model let's first quickly install hugging face hub library okay so i think it says that i would need fast whisper and tokenizer but that is fine i think i should be good because i'm not running it in my own environment let me log into hugging face with the read token you can also grab your read free token free read token from huggingface.co let me paste it here and then i should be good to go there you go my login is all successful let me make a directory i will just call it maybe my model let's go here and now let's download that model with the help of hugging face
so for that i'm just going to run this command where i'm using the cli to download this model with a repo name from hugging face and then giving it this my models directory and then you can see that it is downloading this model and for the starters i'm just going to go with this 0.6 billion you can even run this small model on your cpu very very easily now i'm also going to download the 8 billion one too just to test it out let's wait for it and you see not only it downloads it in the um, 16 f16 uh, precision but also in the q8 and q4 quantization interesting anyway uh, that is fair fairly big let's wait for it to get downloaded both the models are downloaded now and i have arranged them in this large and small directory the large one contains the 8 billion the small one contains the 0.6 billion in two quantized levels but i'm just going to go with this floating point 16 the half precision one so let me clear the screen now first let's serve this 0.6 billion one and then we will go from there so you see what i'm doing uh, maybe okay yeah so you see i'm just accessing that llama server i am using this gun 3 embedding 0.6 billion and i'm serving it on my local machine so let me run this and there you go our model is now being served as you can see so if i scroll down it has loaded the model and it has given us all the information around it and it is now being served at our local host at port 8080 and i'm just going to let it run and meanwhile maybe i will also show you the vram consumption you see it is not using any vram at the moment i will again run it we will also check it later down the road and now let me take you to my vs code and i will show you the example where i am trying to use this model in sort of a real world use case now what this code is doing it is primarily benchmarking the 0.6 billion model versus 8 billion and we are going to check different tasks, the real world tasks, like semantic understanding, which measures how well models capture meaning relationships. So you see the first one, I'm just going to go uh, with, you can see uh, 0.6 billion model. And then we have this 8 billion model, which I will also serve shortly. And then from there, I'm checking different status if the server is running or not. And then I'm converting the text into numerical representation or embedding and these are the different tests i'm running like i'm calculating the similarity how much texts are similar to each other and then as i already mentioned around semantic understanding and this is just a usual python code then we are testing multilingual capability on different languages from some european like english german spanish and then arabic urdu hindi indonesian chinese and um, swahili and then i'm just going to uh you know run this on different embedding dimensions and then we are going to print out the code lot of code but it's not really hard i'm just sequentially running it as uh to test out both of the models in one go and you see that i have opened a new window and in this one i'll just scroll up you see i'm just going to go with this port separate port so unlike this one where i was using port 8080 in this one i am using port 8081 and the model is 8 billion whereas in the first one it is a 0.6 billion model and i will just let them both run okay so the more both the models are now being served let's now run this code which i already described and now i am going to run this so you will see that it is now testing both of these models at the same time on different tests um, so this is basically a benchmark comparison between 0.6 billion and 8 billion variants across all of these evaluation dimensions and you can uh, i will just walk you through what happened there there you go so you see it is telling me where uh, each model is running these are the two models and i'm testing it out on all of these tests so multilingual one you can see that this is a performance of 0.6 billion which is quite good i would say and then i'm also computing the score on different languages and how they performs all of the code is 
um, providing it some sample prompts as I showed you earlier. This is a multilinguality. And then I'm testing it on embedding dimension just to check the similarity. Then code understanding or different code tests on Java, SQL and JavaScript. And then it also is doing some error handling where it cannot find it. This is a final comparison. And there are some recommendation. So this is for 0.6 billion is for this. And then for multilinguality complex tasks, it is recommending 8 billion. And you can see 0.6 billion is faster and 5.5 times faster, by the way. So uh, that's it. I think um, this pretty much sums up all the tests. But as I said earlier, Quen's models are sheer quality. And remember, these are just the quantized ones and still their performance is quite good. Now I will drop the link to it in video's description. Check it out. And if you're interested in code, do me a favor, buy me a coffee. Happy to send the code to you because it took me like three hours to get the code right. Other than that, if you like the video, please share it, like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for all the support.